You know, I've taken a lot of abuse on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for asking a very simple question. Where is Mick Mars? You know, a lot of people say to me, what are you smoking? Mick retired. Well, if he retired, why can't he post, I'm okay? Two words, I'm okay, and hit the publish button on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. You know, being retired doesn't mean that you don't have a voice anymore. And even though Mick was always a quiet one, he's got to know that his fans are asking about him, that his fans are worried about him. And you know what? I happen to believe that John Karabi's right. I happen to believe that Mick Mars was fired, and not by Motley Crue, not by Alan Kovac, not by Vince Neil, not by Tommy Lee, but by Nikki Six. Nikki Six is the shot caller from day one in Motley Crue. He's the one that fired Vince in 1992, and he's probably the one that if Mick Myers was fired, then he's probably the one that fired him too. And the reality of the matter is, he is a control freak. He is like Paul Stanley on steroids in Motley Crue. And if he fired Mick, he probably also told him that he can't give interviews, just like he can't do a solo. Because six years ago, when they signed that pact and he tried to tap John Karabi to do a solo, the solo never happened. Guess why? It wasn't Vince. It wasn't Tommy. It wasn't Kovacs. It was... Nikki Six, in my opinion. And it's probably Nikki Six now. Why? Because Nikki Six wants John Five and Motley Crue. Just like when he was doing Brides, he wanted Tracy Guns and Motley Crue. And it became such a rumor that when Vince Neil was asked, Vince was like, no way, nobody's replacing Mick. And right around that time, what did Nikki do? He got a Mick Mars tattoo on his leg because the fans were starting to ask questions. And I believe that he wanted Tracy in there. I believe he wants John Five in there, and now he's got John Five in there. I believe they've been wanting Mick Mars out of that band for a long time. And like John says, go back to the Generation Swine days. That's when I think it started. I think that's when they wanted Mick out. So, look, guys, I believe he was fired, and I believe that he cannot comment, that he cannot say he's okay, because by some contract, some clause in there, they don't want him to say a word. And until I hear from Mick Mars, I'm going to believe that. Because look, guys, retired people, they still speak. Quiet people, they still speak. He may not be doing interviews, but he can say, I'm okay, and hit the publish button, and he hasn't.